Photonic Spectra Now is brought to you by the Renard Corporation, perfecting your light. Visit renardcorp.com for more. And by Hamamatsu. Indispensable to future social systems, to environmental issues, to industries such as healthcare and automotive, and to the creation of new industries. That is Photonics Technology. Hi, and welcome to Photonic Spectra Now, covering your top headlines in the world of photonics. I'm Joe Kaczynski, a senior editor with Photonic Spectra. Photonic computing company Light Matter has raised a lofty $400 million in Series D funding. The Boston-based group plans to use those millions to prepare its reconfigurable optical interposer passage for deployment in partner data centers. Light Matter says this tech addresses bottlenecks created by traditional interconnects through leveraging 3D stack photonics chips to move data. The company has raised more than $850 million to date and is valued at $4.4 billion. Optica has officially named its former Deputy Executing Director and Chief Publishing Officer Elizabeth Nolan as CEO. Nolan had been serving as interim CEO following the departure of Elizabeth Rogan back in August. Rogan left amidst a congressional investigation into alleged ties to a Chinese tech company. The Trump Group is reporting a decline in sales of 3.6% at the close of the fiscal year a possible indicator of where the overall market is heading. CEO Nicola leibinger Kemular attributes the loss to a weak global economy, ongoing geopolitical uncertainties, and intensifying competition, specifically citing the rise of Chinese rivals. Massachusetts-based company The Bruker Corporation is announcing the formation of a new spatial biology division. The developer and manufacturer of scientific instruments and solutions will join the businesses of Nanostring Technologies plus Canopy Biosciences and subsidiary Bruker Spatial Genomics Incorporated. Bruker Spatial Biology will focus on the advancement of biomedical research. And Leonardo, DRS, and Blue Halo are celebrating the success of a live fire test of laser-equipped counter-drone system. That system, mounted onto an Army Striker vehicle, can detect, identify, and track multiple drone threats, and use both kinetic and non-kinetic means to take them out. During a demonstration, the system was able to seek and destroy several targets nearly simultaneously. Meeting thermal management requirements is still a cause of concern for the collaborators. You can find all the details on these stories and everything else happening in the world of photonics. Just go to photonics.com. And be sure to follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. I'm Joe Kaczynski, and thanks for watching.